some dolls and welcome to my steampunk tutorial. I hope that you guys will enjoy this and all of my other Halloween videos this year. They all have a vintage theme. I kind of wanted to do something a little different aside from just your normal sexy kitten and zombie type tutorials. So here you go. This look is all about that sort of neo-Victorian vibe. If you don't know what steampunk is, it's a sci-fi genre in a world where Electricity was never invented and everything is powered by steam, so it's pretty cool. I love sci-fi and I love anything vintage Victorian, so it's kind of like, ah, I love it. Most of my costumes from hipsandcurves.com. They have the most amazing steampunk section. You've got to check it out. I got the goggles there. I painted these gold though, they came silver. So that's always, it's always something you can do to modify it. The wig I modified. Just making your own. That's what Halloween's about, getting creative and making a fun costume for yourself. And if you'd like to see a full list of products as well as the costume in fuller detail, go check out VintageYourTacky.com. Alright, let's get started. So I started out by applying my wig cap and getting it nice and set and all that nice neat stuff. I actually have a video all about how to put your hair up in a wig cap and make sure it stays on all night. So I'll go ahead and have a little link right here and in the description box down below to that video. So the first thing I'm going to do is use an eyeshadow base. This is a cream shadow from Sigma, and I'm using a little flat brush to apply this. And I'm going to place this all over my eyelid. This has a wonderful amount of pigmentation, which is going to cancel out the redness in my eyelid, as you can see it's already doing. Canceling out the natural redness is super important when you're using red eyeshadows, because if you kind of have some of that natural redness poking through, it looks like you're sick or tired. The shape that I'm creating today I call a sandwich smoky eye, because you have the two darker colors in the outer and inner portion of the lid, and then you have a lighter, brighter color in the center. I'm going to create a custom shade for myself today by using Bada Bing and Bitten Eyeshadow, both from Makeup Geek. And I'm going to start at the inner corner, and I'm just going to wiggle it in. By just wiggling this in, you're going to create that sort of natural curve of your eye. And also, because I only have color on one side of the brush, it's not going to transfer it beyond where I want it to go. And then in the outer corner, I'm doing the same, sort of curving it on. Take it up a little bit higher and then blend over, a little higher than blend over, and then I'm going to open up my eye, see where I'm at. So once you have the placement down, pick up a blending brush and just tickle out that edge. And then once you have the edges blended out, just sort of do windshield wiper motions to blend in between the two sides. Just adding a little bit more of Bada Bing. Just to deepen up the outer corner, because that's, that is the side that I do want to be slightly darker than the inner corner, and also you see I'm placing that up a little bit higher as well. So for the inner lid color, I'm gonna be using Liquid Gold from Makeup Geek and a flat shader brush. And this, oh, this is so intense, it's awesome. Place this right here on this inner portion of the lid, just tapping it on at first. Do you see how intense this is? Oh, I love this color. It's such a neat, antique, greeny, kind of grungy gold, but at the same time, it's, it's also intensely vivid. So it's got kind of like this, like, shiny new old gold look to it. Very interesting kind of color. So in order to blend, I've just sort of dabbed a little bit of the liquid gold on the, uh, you know, out towards the sides. I'm going to go over it with a little bit of bitten in the outer corners. And just really by layering and just using like little soft side to side motions, it's going to get to where you want it to go. So now that that's all blended, I'm just going to take a little bit of Corrupt, which is Makeup Geek's black eyeshadow. And I'm just going to wiggle a little bit of this right here in the outer corner, just a tiny, tiny bit, almost like where I'd place liner. And then take my blending brush and just soften that up. You see how all these blend? Ugh, I love Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I love them so much. So I'm just gonna do a very thin strip of black liner across the lash line. To finish off the eyeshadow and highlight under the brow, I'm gonna be using Undercover from the Lorac uh, unzipped palette. I'm just placing this in the under brow area. The hazier and less defined this looks, I think the better. So for my under eye, I want a nice red look. So I'm gonna start with a gel liner. This is a Makeup Geek liner in Poison. It's a little push liner brush like this. And I'm going to press this into my lash line. Trying to be very careful not to get it in my waterline. And I'm going to take a pencil brush and blur that out. 
and blend it up to where we have the eyeshadows on the top here. And then I'm going to start with a combination of Bitten eyeshadow, also with that little pencil brush. And then I'm going to take Cocoa Bear, which is more of a warm orange brown, also from Makeup Geek, and blend that over. And then what we're left with is this awesome rust color. And then for my inner rooms, I'm going to use Perversion Liner. I use this on the top as well. Fill it across the waterline. Wait a couple seconds for it to sort of set. And then you're good to go. Now I'm going to be using the Ila Mosca Skin Base, which I've mixed my custom shade. And get some of that all over the brush and start blending it on. Now I'm trying to go for very full coverage, which is why I'm using a brush. I find that using a Sigma Kabuki like this gives me the most full coverage versus using like a sponge or something like that. And then a bit more of my concealer. And then a bit more eyeshadow. To set my makeup today, I'm going to be using MAC Studio Fix Powder and a big brush from e.l.f. As a contour and bronzer, I'm going to be using Princess from Wet n Wild and a round eyeshadow or face brush from MAC, so 109. And make it happen right out here. First, really defining that cheekbone and then blending it a little bit onto the cheek. Got a little bit more color into my skin. Now using the same brush that I used to apply my contour, I'm going to use uh, NARS Orgasm Blush. And I'm going to put this on like kind of the back side of the apple of my cheeks, so and not like right here, but more like making a blend in with the contour. So for my eyelashes, that was weird, that was like a very William Shatner way to say it. So for my eyelashes today, I'm going to use some mascara first. So for my false lashes today, I'm going to be using the Ardell Demi Wispies in Wine. These colorful Demi Wispy lashes are my favorite. Oh my god, I love them so much. I need to stock up on them before they stop selling them, because I don't know if they're limited edition, but I would imagine with something this good, it's probably limited edition. My glue today is from House of Lashes. It has a nice convenient applicator. It has a little bit of an iridescent tint to it, so you can see when it's drying, which is quite nice. I'm gonna swoop and scoop these onto my lash line. And then just press them on, making sure they're nice and close to the lash line, and wait for them to dry. I'm gonna start out with Liar Lip Liner from Urban Decay. And I'm just going to fill in the whole lip with this color. Then I'm going to blend in a little bit of native lip liner in the center. All right, and then I'm going to apply native lipstick all over. So now that my makeup is complete, let me go ahead and put my costume on and show you guys the rest. So here we have the entire outfit put together. It's a very cute take on that neo-Victorian steampunk look. It actually looks pretty authentic. Not that steampunk is real, but you get the idea. Almost my entire costume is actually from hipsandcurves.com, so I'll have a link to their site in the down bar. I got the goggles, which actually came silver, and I painted them gold. And the dress here, which is awesome, and I cut a sleeve off because I was like, this is a gun hand, and so... I would, I would like the sleeve to get in my way. I like to think of little things like that when I have character. And uh, this amazing corset is also from Hips and Curves. It is so awesome and it's actually pretty comfortable as far as corsets go. For a costume like this, it's so easy to, you know, get a couple of pieces and then pull in pieces that you already own. Like for instance, my leggings today I already had from ASOS. My boots are from last year at Torrid. So there's always things that you have that you can incorporate. You don't have to buy a whole bunch of stuff. Just buy a few key pieces that really make the look stand out. List of makeup and costume products, please check out vintageyourtacky.com or see the description box down below. And I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'll see you guys in my next video. Remember to be vintage or tacky. Just be yourself. See you, bye. Thank you.